Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangisani and in this video I'm going to talk about the WIM process in Abacus. How we can create the model in Abacus, it's a goal of this video. Uh, WIM process is a new additive manufacturing process for manufacturing large scale parts. It's mainly been used in the e European countries. These results are very he helpful for you to validate your model with uh, for your paper. Uh, you also can find the Python and the foreground files for this model. Please note that if you want to run this model, at least you need to have a benchmark for 9000 for your CPU and your, you should have 16 gigabytes of RAM. If you don't have it, you probably have problem with uh, running the model. I, I don't suggest you to take this video. Okay, and uh, now I would like to talk about the model and the geometries. The first uh, slide that I'm going to talk about, as you can see, we're going to print four layer. Each layer has two millimeter thickness and width and the height of the each layer are presented here. For material property, I'm going to use S350JR and uh, also these data are available in the papers. And I already cited the paper that you can find these data. And after modeling this simulation, uh, you're gonna see these results. As you can see, the residual stress in model in the part in here. I use the symmetry and then in the post processing, I mirror it so you can see the whole part in here. And also you can see that I validated my model with the paper and I mentioned reference five. So you can use this model for validating your results as well. It helps you to learn how to use Abacus for creating additive manufacturing models. Before going, I would like to uh, give you some notes. If you want to download the paper that uh, I publish, you can easily go to Google scroll and type my name. And after that, add WAM. Yeah, the first paper, I mean, the only results that you can see is the paper I'm going to download. I, by clicking on it, you can see it, it should be free and uh, you don't need to be, you don't need to have access to any journal. I, I use this model for studying on the effect of rolling process on the residual stress. It's a very difficult uh, model and in this uh, model, I'm not going to talk about it. I just going to validate the results and I'm not going to work on the rolling process and the other note is that when you go here you right click on your dspc property you're gonna see a name for your processor okay intel for mine is a intel core i5 6300u so you you need to google it here i type intel core i5 6300u bench mark pass mark and after that you're gonna see the f the first uh, link is the for cpu benchmark.net if you go there you can see benchmark for your cpu so it says core i5 6300u you can see that the benchmark for my cpu is 3200 which is low so and i didn't use this computer for running the model and i couldn't so you probably need to have a computer higher than 8000 if you have lower processor it's fine it's it's not a big deal but if uh, you don't have uh, at least 12 gigabyte of ram you might have problem okay i think now it's good now we, and we can go for the modeling here's the part as you can see it's divided to wall and the substrate i'm going to show it from here wall and substrate if you go to the material property you're going to see two different material property for e, uh, for wall and the substrate these material property are from the papers. You can see conductivity, a specific heat. Also, you can find the mechanical property in here as well. We're gonna use it for predicting the residual stress in the part. Here is the assembly. You can see the, here. You can see the residual stress and the stress uh, during the process. Uh, if you see the stress after the cooling time, it means that you're seeing the residual stress. But during the process, it's just a temporary stress in model. Here you can make it uh, more graphically beautiful if you check this box continuous and if you check this one you can hide the elements and also you can reveal the edges. Also if you are interested to see the whole part because we use the asymmetry uh, uh, plane for this model we can go to this window and the last tab you can 
check this box and by checking this box you can see the whole part and now if you go to the first step you can see the additive manufacturing process and you can see the stress during the process it's very beautiful for taking picture for papers if you wanted to write any you also can see these results stress strain and uh, displacements okay that's pretty much all of it i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any question please let us know until the next video bye